Bed hook. Start of your next turn, fish eggs cannot use shields. I should probably remember to um use my consumable items. Astrons created an anomaly. Draw from their power before they disappear. These would be nice, but I'm pretty sure one, two, three. I guess I could have gotten back to that one, but that's just heart subjugation. And that's just some That's just some ash, yeah? Yeah. If it's next to me, cool. If it ain't next to me, I don't I don't care that much. On your path, you suddenly meet the Ash Master. He offers to perform Ash Rites. It was by virtue of fate itself that your paths have crossed. Ash Rites. Renew all cards. Burn cards or upgrades. We don't have any. Well, he's mad. I guess I could have actually gone for that one. Well, it's fine. Travelstone continues to malfunction at times, but in what way are you worse than the blacksmith? It's so hard about fixing it. I don't remember what the travel stone does. I think it takes you back. Try and adjust the stones. Okay, travel stone cooldown period is reduced by five hours. Discarded the deck to the deck of ashes. Well, that's fine. Where is my travel stone? So that's a legend. Ah, travel to the camp via the travel stone. Understandable. Well, do we just pop it? Because I've cleared this entire side. We've still got a long time before the boss shows up. Sure. Okay, let's go to the camp. Buy and sell recipes. Sell recipes. Okay, cool. Let's sell some things. I don't really need Potion of Sloth. I don't really want Curse of Vulnerability. I might want Sustainment of Lies. But this is not much of a curse deck, so I'm going to ignore it. Upgrades. Rare assortment allow you to buy allows you to buy two rare recipes each day from the merchant. Amount of rest points in the tent. Okay, banner of Octavius. Interesting. Scales of avarice. Choose an effect. Spend a mana point. Deal three. Oh right, we already saw that one. I don't think any of these were particularly great for me. Now, I'm pretty sure each one of these characters has a completely different... We need upgrades before we can get these. Starter stats, ailment healing? Nah, wound healing. Hmm, nice. Going for starter stats. Okay, so I don't have too much money. Oh, there goes all my money. Probably worth it. And blacksmith. Upgrades. So you can get traits, travel school down. Ooh. Allows you to dismantle your cards. That sounds useful. Dismantle cards. Which of these have I not been terribly interested in? Realistically, the activate poisons are not that amazing for me. Same thing with Curse of Pain. Oh, but it'll cost me money to get rid of them. We can also upgrade these. Ooh. So, strain 20, renew five cards of your choice. Or, renew eight random cards. That's tough. Because renewing random card, eight random cards is useful, unless I want to leave things specifically in the deck. Yeah, strain 20 sounds spook. It does. Ooh, renew one random card except for ash cards. That makes Healing Balm pretty dang good. Like, the health cost is rough, but that's... Nah.
Okay, so we could also make any of these. Uh, I'm actually going to grab... Because the main reason why I was thinking I could go with the one that lets me pick them specifically is that way I could stack a bunch of Empower Slaves. But it only increases their strength by two. So I'm not super keen on that one. Oh gosh, super sustainment of lies is real expensive. I'm going to grab that, and we're actually going to dismantle one of the heart subjugations, just because I'm starting to have too many. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this guy has cups. What do we upgrade? Increased rest points? Yeah. Alright. So far, so good. I have zero keys. I guess we're just going to go this way then. We'll figure it out. Okay. Ow. How would you... How... Why could you do this to me? Concentrated chaos. Have fun. These are fine. Yes. Beat the tar out of each other. Alright. Get a healing balm. We get that back. Which is good. Haven't taken too much damage. Let's pop that, and I'll just activate poison on that guy. Get rid of both of those. What did he do to himself? Oh, he's bulking up. You fool. Alright. Heal self. And then really, really just make him wreck himself. Uh, let's see, I don't need to return any cards to my anything. I don't care. Wow, actually, I burnt more cards on that than I thought I would. Well, we're full health, so it doesn't even matter. And we have those extra re rest points. We're super good. Yeah, do I want to go for another Tome of Wrath? It's tempting. I want to find more obedience things. Obedi obedience really does seem to be kind of my bread and butter here. Herbalist went into the forest for herbs, and several monsters followed her. She won't have any problems escaping them, but it will take her a few hours to lose them. Her. Well, that's not going to slow me down. Okay, activate curses or 10 ash. Well, at this point, we're just screwing around. So I'm just going to run around. During your journey, you stumble upon a small altar. You've heard of it before. If you offer resources to the deity, then good luck will shine upon you in battle. Sure. That was not worth it. You met me at a very strange time in my life. Alright, concentrated chaos. Have fun, you goons. I'll just be here. Alright, uh, let's get rid of Heart of Subjugation. And that's probably the only one I need. It's a friendly fire party and I love it. Hey, kill the rogue. Admittedly leaves the cannibal, who is just the worst looking creature. Uh, I'm gonna just intentionally give that guy pop the healing balm. And then I'm pretty good to go still. So let's pop both of those. Oh, we have a random succubus. Hi? Who summoned the heck out of that? I am not sure. Well... How much damage? 5 to 7, 13 to 16. Excuse me. Kill her. There we go. Goodbye. And we're good. I killed an enemy called the Possessed. That would explain things I was not paying full attention. And it doesn't matter. This battle's over. Bye! 
I'm really digging subjugation. It is... There's a certain special... Oh. Oh! Concentrated Chaos takes some... It costs some resources to renew. I didn't know about that. Alright, uh, that's fine. That's it. After the Ash Curse, the maladies spread across all the surrounding lands. Contracting it's becoming extremely probable. Suddenly feel much worse. Gain an ailment. Oh well. I care not. Malaria does not scare me. Chest is open. Ice shield. Empower slaves. I don't actually really care about any of these. I also gotta remember to use these uh, consumables, because I'm not. On your path, you suddenly meet the Ashmaster. Okay, right of incineration. So this will let me get rid of cards that I don't want? Oh, discard a card to your deck of ashes. I don't actually care. Well. Go up here, shake the bag, see what falls out. So when the Ashkar's devastated the world, it was as though people lost their minds. This beautiful embroidered bag was just lying there in the middle of the road, as though the owner hadn't even tried to fasten it to the saddle. Okay. The owner of the bag appears soon enough. Before the Ashkar's, his trade seemed to have been robbing from the wealthy. And although his consciousness may be lost, he still remembers exactly how to lure greedy travelers into a trap. Judging from the blood on his sickles, business is booming. Give me a key, you give me a key, really I want that key. Time in my life. Ooh, that's a toughy thug. Well, let's get the phantom out. Give myself with a regen. Probably should have started with uh, regen to guarantee I got the other card back. It's fine. Uh, These are okay. He summoned a friend? There's no friendship here. Oh, the rogue is stealthed. That explains things. Uh, I'm just going to hurt him a bunch. And we will wait. Return any cards to the deck? Yeah. Let's just restore the return these. We don't need them. Kills his bud. And now I can do some damage to him. Admittedly, we got malaria. Let's get rid of... Get rid of malaria. Gain the shield. Curse this guy. It looks like my damage has been reduced for some reason. Uh, let's get rid of the phantom card. Aha! Shields are great! Will this character is... Should I cut your ears? Breaking strong for some reason. Renew a whole bunch of cards. Barely even hurts. Pop the amulet. Health is good. We don't care. And he should kill himself. Yeah! And we get two keys. Uh, let's see. These are kind of expensive to renew. Luckily, that's fine. Go for this. Get another Ash Storm. Okay, Curse of Health. Art of Subjugation. More of that. Okay, he's getting hella mad. But I think we got some time. Pop that. I don't really care about any of these. I guess I'll just grab that recipe. I also get holy water. You know, I keep forgetting about these consumable items. <sighs> Let's actually use one. Undead cannot use death. What's he gonna do to me? Reduce my mana points. I'll just give him poison and bleed. So let's get the uh, Phantom out, Tome of Wrath, burn, and then I'll just restore. And then we wait. Uh, let's 
Let's get rid of that one for the time being. It's a little bit more expensive to renew than all the other ones. Oh, I'm out of... I'm out of juice. It's fine. Yes! Look at all that damage. It's easier. Renew the lot of these. I'm not even hurt. What do we do? Because I don't really care too much for Ice Shield. Let's get a second Tome of Wrath. I don't really know if I care for the Remedial Potion. The distance you can see a bright light flash. The air is crackling with magic. Uh, let's see, movement using portals is busted. Well, it's okay. Rulers found us. Prepare for a decisive battle. Well, I got a lot of cups. Let's increase our rest points with this guy. Let's exchange rate. Resource? Oh! Exchange rate. Twice as lucrative. So we can do a 2 to 1. So that would just make it so it's, uh, everything is one-to-one. -one. That's not a terrible idea, honestly. Not something I care for right now. Okay, let's, let's sell some of these recipes, because I'm pretty much never going to use any of them. Let's see. What does he have? Choose an effect. Bleed, poison, or burn. Effect is activated twice. Ooh. Tome of Envy, Lifesteal. Return, please. Oh, I see. I feel like the Occultist Pauldron would be interesting. Just for stacking debuffs. I'm just not sure if I care. Okay. Go to our upgrades. No, she needs the leaves. Oh, that's for buying upgrades from the Ashmaster. So meditation allows you to meditate in the rest uh, in the tent for three rest points to get a common or rare recipe, or increases the amount of ash gain from ash chalices by fifty percent. I don't know how much I need ash. Let's go for meditation, so I can get in improved card restoration. That sounds a little bit more useful. Alright. And lastly, upgrades? I don't have anything that can upgrade. It's a bit of a shame. I love upgrading cards. Your That's... Knows what you are doing now. Wow. Alright, cool. You look real dumb. I don't have much that I can immediately swing at this guy, which kind of sucks. So I guess I'm just going to start chucking obedience at him. And I'm going to throw away Heart of Subjugation and the po Poison. I'm curious if this guy summons friends. Well, he's already done a shit ton of damage to himself, so that's usually a good sign. And then pop a shield. You can't touch me. You can try. Uh, let's get rid of both of those. Yep, thought so. He does summon friends. Well. Bambo, that's pretty much all I'm going to be able to do. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of Heart of Sub Subjugation because I don't need it. And then that one. Ooh. That's a creepy looking satyr. Well, it's fine. Pop Ash back. We get all of our cards back. Pop the Healing Amulet. Pop Regen. I'm gonna Subjugation the Satyr. For Lucky, Satyr will... hit the boss. Yep. Hit the boss. Alright. Good stuff. So I want to kill the satyr. 
Oh, I didn't actually realize that cost more. Oh. Kill the satyr. Have the boss hit himself. I am just spooky. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right. There's nothing both in and on your head. What is all this empty talk for, fool? I know everyone in the camp, but you. They have pitiful lives. Their fate is miserable. And it is no wonder that you, Outlander, have gathered them in one place. You! <laughs> I haven't heard of you! Who are you? Where are you from? That is not for you to know. You and I have different goals, but we shall reach them via the same path. I don't give a damn about your plans. Just lead me to Lady Death. And it would be best for you and the others to put your backs into it. I have enough power to destroy any of you. <laughs> I have enough power to destroy anyone. But, in fact, <laughs> my sharp tongue is enough. <laughs> this Baldy says he knows more than me. There's one thing I can say for sure. He fears me as much as I consider him a suspicious idiot. This whole camp is hindering me even more. But I can easily use every single one of its dwellers. They all fear me. They tremble at my single glance and shrink from me in terror. I admire the Ash Curse, which I descended upon these lands. And it becomes even easier for me to keep moving forward with each passing day. There is no mistaking this smell, the Dire Marsh. This is the place where primordial miasm creates diseases, and from where they spread across the continent. Watch your step, if you care to keep your legs. This sickening place is thriving under the curse. I ask the herbalist to prepare additional remedies. Breathe through a cloth. The air is soaked with poisonous spores. Rushing headlong into the swamps is a foolish idea. We'll have to camp here. Primordial Miasm will not miss the chance to test his fresh infections on us. He will find us on his own. Once we cleanse this pestilence, we should be able to cross the marsh. All right. Let's see, wow, I love the art of this game. Is it interesting? It is. I'm actually really digging this game. It's... How would I describe it? It's an odd duck game where it kind of exists somewhere in the same vein as Slay the Spire, Monster Train, and so on and so forth, but it does enough different to keep me on my toes pretty much at all times. Uh, let's see. I have some money. Let's see what I can buy. Can I buy resources from him? Because that'd be the most useful thing. Um, if I bleed, draw a strike card. Interesting. Oh. At the start of a character's turn, bleed deals one damage to them. Effect lasts for three turns. The character is damaged by a strike card. The bleed damage is increased by one. Any healing resets the... Hmm. I'm going to grab another champion pauldron. That's neat. A lot of these are kind of weird, but I can see why they'd be really good. So I want to play with them. Do you unlock anything from starting new runs? You know, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I don't know. Okay, there goes all my money. We want to grab both of these, but we need to get the improved stats. Nah, I don't care about the rest of these. I don't know if these upgrades are meta progression that carries over between runs, or if you have to get them mid-run. Oh, we should take a look at this. End of each round, apply two curses on a random cursed opponent. Whenever you change your form... Apply stun on a random opponent if they aren't afflicted with obedience. Ooh. So I might actually want to go for the traits on this guy. Uh, curse stacking would be interesting. 
uh, just because it would be easy curse stacks. But stunning on a random opponent, if they're not afflicted with obedience, might be more useful for me. May maybe. I don't know. I feel like uh, two curses on a random cursed... Oh, on a random cursed opponent, they have to be pre-cursed. That's less helpful. So yeah, we'll... Hi. Alright. It's a big map. So how do I want to do this? I have three keys, which is pretty good. We want to hit most of the red things if we can, but I mostly want to hit the dungeons first. Unoccupied tiles. Those suck. So we could go... This? Hmm. See, so what's this game about, Wander? It's a roguelike deck builder where you play as one of four different kind of... I, I'm not necessarily going to call them anti-heroes. I think uh, at least the Fire Lady seems like she had a little bit more of a noble goal. Currently, I'm playing as a Mad Jester that just hates the shit out of everything. Uh, and wants to kill everyone, I guess. And so... Yeah, I'm not- I'm playing as the bad guy, but it's kind of fun. Say, how long have I been playing this for? About an hour. Uh... And... Technically, I'm sponsored to go for two, but I think I might just finish this run no matter what, as far as, uh, my day today. Uh, so yeah, what's the goal of this game? Get to the end? I'm assuming there's multiple... multiple chapters as we get closer and closer to the end. I'm assuming there's four, maybe five chapters, give or take. We will see. But I am thoroughly enjoying this all the same. So, I think what I want to do... Let's beeline for the dungeon. Big fight. Big fight. Battle. Dungeon. Another big fight. And just kind of cycle those. I don't know if the unoccupied tiles are always unoccupied, in fact. Okay, I don't really have too much here. Let's just do Concentrated Chaos and we'll wait. Okay. Let's return a couple of things to my deck. That did not do nearly as much damage as I was hoping it would. Let's get the Phantom out. And just set him the heck on fire. Okay, let's... Actually just hold on to these, I guess. It doesn't do too much damage. Alright, pop the healing bomb. And fanatical obedience. So I got my heals. We are good. Let's just cycle heart subjugation. Though It's not gonna matter. I've got... We're, we're living the small deck dream, and it just, it just melts. Hey, Get a common or a rare recipe? Not a whole lot of reason. Uh, I'm gonna grab a healing balm. Grab that. The thing is, because I'm not terribly, uh... Hard up for HP. Oh, normal heroic. Let's go heroic. I I am playing a little aggressively. This might screw me over, or it might help a lot. We'll see. Ooh, you're a toughie. You're a spooky toughie. All right. So what do what do we got? Start with the subjugation. Pop that. I'll give him two curses. Let's cycle one of those out. Poison's going to be unfortunate. I don't think I care too much. We'll just restore the HP. 
I will just sit high and dry. Yeah, so they hurt. We're gonna have to spend more of our time specifically healing here. Than I'm normally comfortable with. Luckily, we're probably mostly fine. All hail the new king. Hail okay. Me. So we've gone doppelganger. What if I can summon another one? Probably not. Okay, let's get rid of these two. Unfortunately, resummoning my phantom is expensive and pain. Can't resummon him. Pop the renew. Drop the cheap phantom. Pop the heal. Curse him further. I'm liking the idea of curses. I, I think obedience works better in terms of just raw speed for clearing enemies. I feel like curses has some real potential that I have not tapped yet. Probably should have actually waited a little, uh, little bit longer. Alright, whatever. We get a trap. Get an altar. Return more cards per battle. Fine. We get a chest. Chest has some things. I think lifesteal is actually pretty good. Alright, I should probably remember to use those ash pouches. All gods turned away when you were born. Let's see, what the heck happened to the jester? I got spooky. Uh, let's see. So I want to kill the fish egg. Let's get the phantom out. Tome of Wrath. Kill the fish egg. I feel like we need more energy than what we've got. Uh, let's see. I might as well return up to four cards. There it is. Boop. Have fun with that, nerds. Uh, let's see. And let's get rid of fanatical obedience. Not that it matters too much. Yes, fight each other. Okay. Pop healing bomb. Doesn't give me too much. Store some HP, restore some HP. None of these guys are poisoned. Who's going to do the most amount of damage to me? And yeah, let's work on killing the Hydra. Uh, if I get rid of Heart of Subjugation, the Shadow just does not do damage to me. Okay, it does a little bit more than that, but still. Okay. I'm gonna just have them kill, e kill each other. And then we will wait. Would have been nice to actually do the Amulet of Heartbeat, but if these guys wreck each other, then that works in my favor. Ooh. Hi. We made some friends here. Amulet of Heartbeat. Got that. I'm going to do status effects on this one. It's got shields, but if we're lucky, it'll burn to death. before it ever causes me a problem. Yep, there we go. Let's see, how much energy do I have? No, let's actually do Heart of Subjugation on him. And then I'm just going to hit that. Hopefully the egg just dies. Nope. It's fine. He kills the egg. Let's see, we can't make him obedient again. 
My HP is looking fine. Restore HP. Gain a shield. Hex him. Give him some status effects. Okay, so yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. All right, let's heal up. We don't have too much that we're missing. Three, six. Okay, we can get one more of these. Grab both of those. Remedial potion. I I'm assuming most of these cards are not actually terribly useful for me. But that's that's okay. Let's see, this art style is cool but creepy. Yeah, I mean it's supposed to be like post apocalyptic fantasy horror land. Twelve health points of the player. Discards the top card of the player's Huh. It's really not that big of a deal, is it? Let's get the Phantom out. And let's heal. I took a little bit more damage from that than I thought I was going to. I'm just gonna pop both of those. Mostly the mostly to cycle them out. I am very slow. This is actually a bit of a problem. A bit. Have fun with party town, jerks. Uh let's see. Let's get rid of both of those. Alright, well that works. I right, pop the bomb. So the possessed is gonna pop no matter what I do. Pop that. And mostly hit up the wolf. Okay, return anything? Nah. I think we're I think we're good, at least for now. I am taking a lot of damage here, though. I don't like that. Okay, so summoning Doppelganger. Or the Phantom. Best I've got here. Uh, let's see, do I pop the potion? I'll pop the potion. I'm doing okay. The problem is I'm just not doing enough damage to clear all of these guys, and they're all kind of tanky. Oh, good. Well, all right. That solves that problem. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go for the uh, the high strain value. Because that would have been death. Okay, so there goes the wolf. You know what? That worked about as well as it possibly could have. Good time for me to heal up too. Dang. Uh, let's see, do we get a... No, I can't summon another phantom even if, even if I wanted to. Uh... Just that one. So I'm gonna have to resummon the phantom almost immediately. Uh, don't try my patience. Okay, get the phantom out. Regen self. And I guess I will curse him, which is unfortunate, because we immediately fight the imp, but if we're lucky, my phantom kills it before the imp hurts me? Nope. But it didn't hurt me either. Alright. Cool. Let me just restock here and kill the imp. And all problems are solved. Alright. It's going to cost me three to go back up to full health, but... There's, like, no negative value to that one. So is there anything I'd want to make? Draw cards, discard cards. Lifesteal might not be a bad idea. Apply to Defender on the Phantom. Probably makes it so it soaks hits for me. That might be okay, but I don't have enough... I don't have enough time. <laughs> 